Um, avoid or work at greater distances from variables you can't control. So this is a big deal, right? So around here, you're in relatively good shape. You're surrounded by a whole bunch of other dog trainers, right? who hopefully we're getting on the same page, who are more than willing to try to help you execute your training plan. So if you say to them, ignore my dog and don't pet my dog, they will do that. The general public, not so good at this, right? You tell your general public, ignore my puppy, and they're like, oh, oh my god, it's so cute, oh god, no, no, I can't touch it, oh. That's not ignoring the puppy, right, at all, right? They're freaking out. The puppy's like, damn, what's wrong with that person, right? They're not good at that. It's the same. Somebody, you, you say to somebody, hey, give my dog a piece of food, and that's it, and then stand up. And they give the dog a piece of food, and then they grab the dog and give it a noogie, right? Like, like, what are you doing, right? And so you can't trust people you meet out on the street to behave the way you want, and you don't know what they're going to do. Like, I've walked through airports when I was traveling all the time with one of my dogs and had grown men in business suits bark at my dog when I walked by. Walking by and they go, woo, -woo. <laughs> Or people think, I'm like, what makes you think that's a good idea? Right? What, like have, but they're out there. People do this, stomp their feet at puppies trying to be playful. You see people do this, a puppy will come up and they'll go, like they're going to play with them. I'm like, scare the crap out of the puppy. The puppy's like, what are you doing? Are you going to stomp on me? And probably like, Kow! right? So you do not know what people are going to do. Somebody will say, my dog's totally fine. And their dog isn't totally fine. Gets up there and lights your puppy up, right? Like, so... If you don't know them and out in public, no contact. And if I can't control them, I keep a bubble so that if they don't listen to me, I can get out of there. So if I have enough space between me and them, I say, hey, I'm training, stop there, and they keep coming, I'm, I got plenty of room to get out. And so be aware that how close are you to things, right? Can you get, do you have an extrication strategy in place? And I need to get out of this situation if they don't listen or behave the way they're supposed to, or they let their dog loose or whatever. And so that's the kind of thing you want to pay attention to. And then I control the socialization experiences with the people that I can control, right? Now I get my dog trainer friends out and I say, okay, just stand there, pretend we don't exist, and I work around you. Or I say, okay, my puppy's relaxing, give my puppy one piece of food, and then ignore my puppy. Right? And they'll do it. They'll execute my, my suggestions as we go forward. So important that you have that. And be aware that the general public, well-meaning or not, are n they don't know better frequently. And people do weird stuff all the time. And people don't know their dogs either. We post our social media videos to our website, Learberg.com, a week or two before we post them to our YouTube channel. These early release videos can be found on the front page of our site or by going to the site and selecting video on demand from the toolbar and then select free videos. Thank you for watching.